Hello guys, my name is Armin. In our series, going back to basics and SketchUp, I want to show you push-pull tool. This is one of my favorite tool and you can use it in multiple ways in a different ways and it's going to basically expedite the process that you have in modeling. So without further ado, let's jump into SketchUp so we can see how we can leverage this tool. To find push-pull tool, there is a few locations that you can go and find it. The first one is a default toolbar. You can see the next location would be the large tool set. If you do not have the large tool set, you can right click on the toolbar and you can check the box for the large tool set. The next location that you can find would be tools. So if you click on the tools, you can come down, you can basically see the push pull tool here and the shortcut key for the push pull tool is P. So I have a few, um, like a couple of shapes over here. Let's just try a few methods. So if you click on the push pull tool, you can kind of hover over items and you can click and push up or push down, right? So, and then basically if you want to uh, cancel the command, you can hit skip. So if you hit skip, it's going to cancel the command. You can also pre-select items. So if I please select these, you have a different shape and I only want to do one of them. I can pre-select first and then go on the push-pull tool and then push it up to anything that I want. So this is basically if you want to do it. And then the next one is, let's say I want to do, uh, I want to pre-select this and then I want to hit push P turn into push pull so if i want to go up you guys can see the distance on the right hand side here You're basically telling me how uh how much i'm going to go up and down i'm going to type six feet let's put six feet over here and it basically get it to the six feet for me to go up you can also use um inferencing so if you have a different shape and you want to have the same height, you can click on this one and inference to the edge of the other shape or other um, height that you have. And basically, it's going to go and align it with that surface for you. So right now, I have the same height for both. If you pay attention, there is a big difference between these two shapes, right? So the first one I can go, which is a rectangular or a cube. So if I go to any side of this, I can use the push-pull tool, right? So it basically hovers over and I can go on each side. But if I go on the side of the circular shape, I'm not able, I'm basically getting the anti-command, which is telling me push-pull tool is not working on this. And the reason for it is because the circular shape is... Uh, kind of combine multiple surfaces and push pull tool only works on a single surface so if you if you have any shape that contains series of surfaces like this you kind of getting this icon next to it which is, is no push pull tool doesn't work on this surface so if i go on top because if a single surface yes but on the sides it's not gonna work so just kind of pay attention um to those items that you have uh, you see so the next one i have a like a little let's say i want to have this wall all the way up to let's say eight feet and let's say we want to create a window right here so this is a really really great tool that you can use as a push pull tool it calls co-planner effect so let's say there's like a two different surfaces, right? So I have this surface, I had this surface. So I can click on this and I can push it in and out as much as I can. So if I go hold one surface and go to the other surface and double click, it punches a hole for me. So you can see I don't have to delete anything anymore. You just basically use the push pull tool and double clicking to remove anything that you have let's try it one more time let's say if i have uh, another box over here and i'm using the push pull tool to kind of push it in and now so you guys can see just make sure you go to the back of it 
double click punch a hole it's easy instead of just selecting it and deleting all the lines and sometimes it's gonna basically um, kind of delete some lines you might kind of lose the whole shape so if I if I use this whole surface right so this is a whole surface if I push the whole surface back let's see what happened and a double click and everything goes away because I'm using the cool uh, planner effect and basically I am just pushing one surface to another surface and double clicking I'm telling SketchUp I want this area to be removed so I'm gonna hit Control Z so I can kind of bring back this um, okay wall that I have. Other other items that I want to show you guys, I think it's easy and everybody is kind of aware. You can use um, just a, a a line tool in conjunction with a push pull. So let's say if you wanna create a different shape like this, right on this one. You can easily can use the push pull tool uh, tool to create another surface. So if I kind of go on this one, so this is this is a problem that we want to see. So if you click something on this and you you don't see it because I'm looking at it as a surface. So right now, if I go on it, the push pull tool doesn't select this items for me, and the reason is it's not on the same plane. So in order to the tool. Um, line tool works for the push pull you need to draw everything on the same so we can clear the loop and we have another video we're talking about how to lock your tool and I'm gonna leave a um, link down below but it basically tells you how you can lock your line tool in a different axis so you got to make sure when you draw something you're you're on a surface right so I'm on the face I'm on the face right here I'm on the face and I'm on the face. So if I do that right now, if I go to the push pull tool, you can see it's a different surface, but this one is not. And that's because I'm not on a plane. And SketchUp does not uh, consider that one a really um, like a closed loop. So you guys can see what, what is the problem is here. So this is kind of one surface right here. This one is not. So and let's say if we can use this thing so if i go back here so you guys can see double check okay punch a hole so this is i think it's going to be a great tool to help the other um item that i want to share with you is let's say you have multiple items right so you have multiple items and let's say use the push tool for this one go to four feet so as long as I am not kind of escaping or canceling the command, if I go to a different object and double click, you can see basically provide me with a same command. So if it's a length, if it's a height, like whatever you have, if you are going like any surface that I go and basically double click. So right now I double click on the front surface and I push everything four feet back. So if I go on top, double click, I push it four feet up, right? So it's basically knows what the previous command is with the dimension. And when you double click on every single um, surface, that single surface, it's gonna go back or front or up and down. So right now I'm gonna do it from the top. It should put it down, right? So four feet, so it goes away like it's minus goes down. So if I go this way, it basically push it four feet out, right? Front push your four feet if I click on top so it's basically you can kind of go uh, back and forth back and forth on all of them so as long as you're not scale like if you hit the escape tool and you are kind of out of the command or you select different tool so that's go away like it's not gonna be so as long as you stay in the push pull tool it knows what is the previous dimension is and you can kind of double clicking that and it gives you the same length and height on different surfaces that you have so the last item that I want to show you is using a control key to copy and paste the object or create a new object so if I go on the push pull tool and then hold the control key um, on, on my keyboard you guys see a plus sign appears next to the push pull tool and if I kind of push up from this location like from this top if I push it up 
and kind of go up you're gonna see how, what's what's gonna have, happen so you guys can see it's basically adding another uh object on top of this one right so and this is gonna be a separate so if i let me just get rid of this corner so you guys can see so you guys can see i removed it and it's like a two different uh object so this is basically you can use the plus sign by pushing or tapping the control key so it creates a new surface that matches the preview surface that you have thank you guys for watching today's episode in go back to basic series in sketchup if you like the content please subscribe and leave a like and let me know in a comment section down below if you are using this tool in a different way i would like to put together a video that shows the tips and tricks that you use and we can share it with everyone thank you so much for watching see you in the next video Thank you.